Hello, hello, everyone. Burger King is what is for dinner today. I'm trying something new. Well, I don't know how long it's been out. That's not very many onion rings. So I got a large onion ring. Ooh. Oh, wow, that's going to be messy. I got the fiery chicken nuggets. And I got the Philly melt. Zesty sauce, sweet and sour. I'm gonna need another, I'm gonna grab another couple napkins. Give me one second. Okay, so we're gonna put, I don't use the zesty sauce, but the sweet and sour. I will definitely use. And I got ketchup for my onion rings. All right, all right, let's open this. We won't use that. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Let's give you guys a thumbnail and then let's dig in. I'm so hungry. There we go. There we go. Yum. Let's eat. Let's eat. Okay, actually, let me tell you how much the total was. And I'll tell you what's on that Philly. Uh, okay. My total was $21.59. That was including the tip. And the Philly Melt. It's Burger King's new Philly Melt. Features two flame grilled Whopper Junior patties. For one quarter pound of pre-cooked patty weight. We don't need that. Um topped with flame grilled peppers and onions, melty Swiss cheese, and savory royal sauce on two slices of toasted bread. The fiery nuggets, I have I got an eight piece, and it says our bite-sized white meat chicken nuggets coated in a fiery buffalo glaze for heat and flavor in every bite. Hopefully they're not too spicy, and then Gold pink raspberry tea here, large onion ring, and let's eat. Actually, you know what? No, you won't be able to see them. I'm just gonna put them on the. Mmm. <laughs> Let's start. Let's try one of these. Ooh. <laughs> okay. It's getting in my throat. <laughs> They're good. Y'all know me. I typically can't do a lot of heat. They're a little spicy. see it get my fingers orange all right let's try this new burger let's try 
I did ask for pickles. So it has everything on it and then the additional item that I added on was pickles. Love my pickles. That's good. The the bread doesn't seem like it's toasted. I like it. That's good. I can't tell that it's Swiss cheese. I think they... What was the sauce? Savory royal sauce. Can't tell what it is. I cannot tell what the royal sauce is. It's good though. I like it. I like it. I like it. So how are you guys today? I hope y'all are doing well. Today is Saturday. What is the date? June 15th. June 15th and tomorrow definitely has to be the day I wasn't able to tell my supervisor last Sunday we her and I always have our one on one on one meetings um, every Sunday and I was gonna tell her last week last Sunday that I I'm not gonna be able to move but when I because her and I both have off Thursdays and Fridays so when I got there last Sunday there was a message in our team chat that she was taken off the entire day for PTO. So I was like, oh, I'm not going to be able to tell her. I didn't want to tell her during the week. It's been busy. And I didn't want to. I didn't want to just like send her a Slack message during the week when it's busy and I know she has a lot of meetings and say I'm not gonna be able to move I'd rather do it face to face so I definitely have to do it tomorrow because I want to give two weeks my two weeks notice so it has to be tomorrow so I will give her my two weeks tomorrow and give them I have to mail well email the my resignation letter to HR and then also add my supervisor in uh, but that'll be June 30th will be two weeks so because I can't move it really sucks you guys like I really love my job the only thing that I'm not used to is I'm so used to getting paid every every week but it's every two weeks so I didn't get paid yesterday <laughs> well I got one day of pay But that was when I was still contract. And my last day was a Sunday, so. I don't like the getting paid every two weeks. <laughs> they are a little spicy. They're making my nose run. <laughs> if you all watch me back in the day, oh, it's going in my throat too. <clears throat> my nose runs when I eat. I could be eating any, if I eat anything, my nose runs. And when I eat something spicy, I could eat ice cream and my nose runs. And I used to not cut it out, but if you see cuts in my video, it's either because I had to blow my nose and wash my hands, or I had to cough or sneeze or clear my throat. So now I just cut that stuff out. You all don't want to hear me like clear my throat and sneezing or coughing or wiping my nose, getting up to wash my hands. So yeah, if you see cuts nowadays, that's because that's what I'm doing one of those things. 
or sometimes I will stumble over my words. So I do cut that out now and I'll just re-say it. But yeah, I really like these. Those nuggets. Mm. Whoa. A bunch of pickles. <laughs> So, so I made a recipe the other day and it is stuffed pepper casserole, but instead of stuffing the peppers, you just dice them up or cut them up, cut them into strips. I kind of did strips, but then cut that strip in half, but you could dice it into little cubes if you wanted and then you do onions. Turned out really well. I don't know if I've told you guys this before, but <laughs> um, a lot of times when I make stuff, I'll make, like, especially with casseroles, it's a big old batch, so um, I give some for, to my daughter so she could take it to work and eat it for lunch, and then I always give her extra because there's this really nice guy that she works with, and I don't know how it started, but she started having him try, you know, some of my the things that I cook and he loves them so now I always give her some and then give her some extra for him so I made sure yesterday I already air dropped all the clips to my MacBook I can't, I'm so mad about that macaroni salad that whole bag And I thought I airdropped it and I didn't. And I lost the whole thing. When I did my Walmart order yesterday, I did get another box of the the Barilla macaroni. I like that better. I feel like it's sturdier. So I did not remake the macaroni and or the macaroni salad yet. But I may do that some maybe this coming week. Actually, I forgot I used all the peppers in that casserole, so I'm going to need another pepper anyway. A bell pepper. Mmm. Have you guys ever tried these yet? I like them. Um, Mmm. Ten thumbs up, Burger King. Very good. This is good too. I get the Philly cheese steak. I don't know what I want to do next. I need to make sure I save what's left in here. I think it's like right here. Because I did a little Walmart haul. Um, but I don't want to open any of the iced teas until I record my little haul. I'll do that after this. And oh my goodness, you guys. That um, Hudsonville ice cream that I recorded in my last haul is so good. The, um, what is it called? Hang on, I'll tell you. I highly, highly recommend that ice cream. Now, I haven't tried all the flavors. Um, I did, I tried one of the fudge. 
But my favorite, and I ordered two more this week, is the Hudsonville Traverse City Cherry Fudge Ice Cream. I ordered two for this week. It is so good. If you like, it says sweet chunks of cherries and thick fudge ripple in a creamy amar amaretto, amaretto ice cream. Amaretto. Oh my goodness. It is so good. So <laughs> I ordered two this week of that. Yum. It's the ice cream is nice and creamy. It's not like watered down it's full of flavor so good so good i love their onion rings red robin has good onion rings Yeah, I vacuumed the whole house, did laundry, cleaned my bathroom, which was a bit overdue, my bathroom. <laughs> Got that all done. So after I'm done eating, I'm just going to... Uh, record my haul. It is just a small haul this week. Just Walmart delivery, nothing else. But I'll record that and then I have to start doing resumes. Does anyone hate doing resumes? I hate it. That's like the worst part because back in the day, you know, like when you would apply for a job, you would just fill out an application. Not no more. Now it's like oh, you know, cover letter and Resume, and then you gotta change the resume to fit the job. I don't like it. <laughs> it's the worst part. When I left my other job, before before this job, I paid a couple people to do my resume for me, but it's expensive. I think I paid, the first person I think was like a hundred bucks. And then I was submitting that resume and wasn't getting nothing back. So then I paid someone else to redo it. And then, then I was, I was getting contacted back, but but then again, I'm not young either, and ages ageism is is real when it comes to looking for a new job. Which really stinks because, I mean, there's been studies where older, older adults um, are really good workers. And I am a very good worker. When I'm at work, I work. But...
I mean, they can get an idea for your age just by the year you graduated high school, when you start listing your work history. But what are you going to do? I just hope it doesn't take me forever to find a new job. And I would really like to do something healthcare related somehow. I honestly don't know if there was any of that sauce on that filling. I didn't taste nothing, not even like mayonnaise. I tasted the cheese, but it didn't taste like Swiss cheese. Which is good, because I am not a big fan of Swiss, like I won't eat Swiss cheese by itself, but I've been able to eat it on burgers, where I used to not. I would just ask for a different cheese. That was good. As you can tell, I eat every last bit. Woo! This might be a quick, oh no, it's still 25 minutes, maybe 24. But yes, I highly recommend that burger. That burger was good. But I honestly don't know if there was any of that sauce on it. What sauce? But it's okay, it was still good. It was supposed to be savory royal sauce. I didn't taste nothing. Unless maybe it was just soaked into the bread. The, the door dasher had delivered another order before mine. So, but I highly recommend it. I think it, it was good. The sandwich was good. I like the fiery nuggets. They're not too spicy. If I can handle it, that'll tell you, that tells you something. Woo, I am stuck though. But yeah, oh, oh my goodness. You know what? Um, Taco Bell has this cheese it thing, cheese it. I, I so wanted to get that, but I was like, I just did a Taco Bell for you guys. So then I saw, um, I saw Burger King had that Philly melt. So I'm like, well, let me do, and I wanted to try the nuggets. So that I highly recommend. And um, earlier this week, I ordered DoorDash um, Chick-fil-A because they have a new sandwich out now, which I do want to try, and I'll record it for you guys. But um, you're getting five stars. Thank you so much. Um, what is it called? Let me see. It is hot here and that, um, the, uh, AC doesn't stay off for too long. But anyway, Chick-fil-A has a maple pepper bacon sandwich and it's typically grilled, but you can get it with the breaded. I ordered it the other day when I got off work. And here they gave me someone else's order, so I didn't get to try it yet. So I will, they, they actually gave me a Grubhub, someone else's order, it was a Grubhub order, it was, uh, I think it was a medium fry, a Sprite, which I didn't drink, and a Chick-fil-A Deluxe, but it didn't have any lettuce, tomatoes, it just had bacon, cheese, and no extra pickles, no sauces. So I was a little disappointed, but thank goodness it wasn't, I wasn't recording a video. I would have been upset. <laughs> I would have been upset, but 
Chick-fil-A typically doesn't mess up, so I'm not sure what happened, but it was it was a Grubhub order because it said GH on it. And it was someone else's name. So, but yeah. So I want to try that. I haven't tried it yet since I didn't get the correct order the other day. Um, I think, was there someone else? thought there was someone else that came out with something new but I can't remember but anyway that is all I have for you guys today I give this a 10 out of 10 it was good I do have to take into consideration the dasher had someone else so maybe the bread was toasted but because they had to do another order it was still good I liked it I would definitely get it again nuggets are good I enjoyed them I'll definitely get it again and the onion rings love their onion rings so yeah, that is all I have for you guys today. Oh, you see the babes? Sebastian's back there too. Samara right here, Sebastian's in the back. But yeah, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a great day and a great rest of your weekend. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye everyone.